Good evening. I want to build N5 ESE's classic RF probe. So I printed out this from his website and I created an Altoids 10 with a BNC for the test side and banana jacks to go back to a multimeter. Okay, so all I gotta do is build the middle and that would be these two ends. Now, I built it this way. Voltmeter on this side, circuit to be tested on this side. I've got the parts ahead of time. If you look at this, ground basically goes all the way through the circuit from one from this side to this side. It has to have an island in the middle for the diode, the IN 34A. So I went ahead and made that up. So I'm just going to solder that in place. Black and red would probably be better than gray and black, but you kind of go with what you got. Okay, my soldering skills are atrocious. Don't bother commenting. I already know it. So I should have ground end to end, and since I conveniently have a multimeter here, we're just going for continuity. This multimeter has a very low sound when it uh, does continuity. Go to the ground of the connector to the middle, and I'll go from the middle to the end, and I'll go from end to end. That seems to be working well. So according to the diagram, I've just finished this side. This end matches this end, this end matches this end. So I need a 0 0.01 microfarad capacitor. That was easy. Now I need another pad in the middle. Because I want to do a pad on each side of that diode. So I have one of those. I have a 1N34A. The band goes on the active side. So let's go ahead and solder that. For our purposes, the active side is this side. Moving right along. So I've got a resistor that goes from here to here. Okay, so I've got a 4.7 meg resistor. I'm gonna go ahead and tin the ends of this. Okay, that seems to be wired. So let's give this a test. We just wanna do continuity. So we have that, that, okay, so we have a reasonable expectation that this is working. This goes to the circuit to be tested, this goes to the multimeter, I put a nice label on it, N5 ESE RF probe, so let's give it a test. I need to find cables. I need to find the test. I need to find to the multimeter. Okay, so I've got something to test with. We look in here and we see that positive is gray. So we'll go gray to red, black. to black. Okay, for the test side, I've got a BNC connector. That goes out to positive, negative. Now I need something to test. I've got this utility oscillator. Runs off a 9 volt battery. Okay, I've got ground just to clip the ground. So I want to put this on volts. I'll put it on 20. I'm going to clip this on positive. And there we go. 
27 volts. If I take the battery off and the oscillator quits working, it goes to zero. So I've got 1.27 volts. That's volts DC, but it's measuring the RF. I realize this has a lot of wires, but I wanted to make a set of test tools all based in Altoids tins. And they're all shielded, so that works out really well. So we have 1.31 volts of DC, but that diode has turned AC RF into DC. So it works exactly how it's supposed to. And I realize this is kind of messy. Okay, so I'll take the oscillator, the test oscillator, out of the circuit. VK3YE utility oscillator. I think he calls it a wide swing oscillator. I call it a utility oscillator, same thing. I have a video on making that also. I realize this is a lot of cable, but I store these with my multimeter and my test equipment and the oscillator. The test oscillator is also a piece of test equipment. So I get to store my cabling with my multimeter and I get it on you know, my test equipment. So when I need it, I can just pull this out. And I already have the cables because if I'm testing, I have, a, I have that multimeter. It's compact here. When you use it, yeah, it is splayed out a little bit. I like that better than having the cables permanently attached and then having to wrap it around it or, or getting something to put this in. Very, very, very simple circuit. One resistor, one capacitor, one diode and the connectors out each end. I'm slowly building up a set of test equipment. I've got my N5 ESE RF probe. I have my VK3YE utility oscillator. I have a VK3YE audio test that just puts out a tone. I have a video on building that also. So there we go. N5 ESE RF probe inside of an Altoids tin. Very simple, modular. If you like the videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.